There is such an easy transition between the first film and, and this film. What was the blueprint for you to build the world even further and create this new 2049? The blueprint? Yeah. Very simple. One word came, that came from Empton Fancher. At the beginning, when I, I read the script, I said, okay, what do I do? The first movie was an extension of the, of the 70s. And they created that future that at the time was like prophetic. I mean, it was like a really a, a vision, a very strong vision of what could be our future. Now, we, it, and it, it was set in 2019 in Los Angeles. Now we are almost in 2019, and some things were prophetic, where like we, the, 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 this Ridley Scott uh, uh, saw things that were, were about to happen, and other things didn't happen. So the, it became, we are in an a alternate universe. So I had to, to decide that if I will build a world that will be inspired by today, or a world that will be inspired by the first Blade Runner. Mm. And, and uh, it's Hampton Fancher that said to me, you think too much, you think too much. <laughs> it's like, we, the first movie was a dream. We just dreamed a lot. You had just do the same, just you're free. And, 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 and uh, it really removed a pressure out of my shoulder, shoulders. I, um, so I came with the, 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 the proposition to, to follow, follow up uh, and the first movie by creating an extension in the future of the first movie, which means that there would be no Steve Jobs in 2049, there would be no internet, there would be no Celine Dion, there would be, there, it will be a, a world that will be different than what will be our future and that it will bring a comment on, on today, you know? Well, it also feels like you took elements of the real, the real world, and, and the cars we drive, the the idea of creating a, a, a hologram of a rock star on it, you know, those kinds of ideas. I feel like we're moving closer to where. Yeah, it's it. We, I tried to find an equilibrium between uh, bringing back the aesthetic, aesthetic laws of the first movie, yeah. and in the same time incorporate uh, incorporate uh, things, ideas that that. Um, are relevant today, of things that are relevant today, and and that was a, a tricky balance that we 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 tried to uh, find. How often did you speak with Ridley about this, or did you speak with him at all? I had a long conversation right from the start with him because I needed to uh, see, look at meet him first and have his blessing. I I, did, I will not do it if I don't have Ridley Scott's blessing, and uh, we had a, a, a nice conversation about the first movie when he gave me uh, clues about the foundations, about the, the, the source of inspiration, uh, the, oh, well, everything about the genesis of the first movie. And, um, and that after that he said that the second one is yours. It's, it's like I, I, he gave me total freedom. And that was like uh, the best gift. Uh, I'm very grateful for his generosity and trust. It was the only way for me to, for being able to do it. It was just to do it alone. It's it's a little difficult to talk about the movie because there's so much there that mm. you know, we want fans to really experience it. Was there a, 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 something that really, you really wanted to connect to the first film and maybe further, take it further into another film? Uh, for now, me, I just finished the movie uh, less than a month ago. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, it has been the biggest, artistic challenge of my life and I'm st I didn't have the time to digest it yet <laughs> I'm still <laughs> I'm just still physically recovering from the and uh, so I have no distance I need to sleep for a few weeks and then think about that but uh, um, and I, I I think I don't know uh, if I would be involved but uh, it's definitely a word that I found was very inspiring yeah. it, it also seems like it was very uh, finding that right person, finding the right cast, which you did marvelously. I think Ryan is a perfect fit in this world. Was that he always the lead for you? Was he always the guy? He, he, I think that Hampton uh, Fencher, when he wrote the, the very first words about it, this character, thought about Ryan. And he suggested the idea of Ryan Gosling to Ridley, who thought it was a fantastic idea. And then they came to me and they said, listen, here's the screenplay. We, are, we think Ryan could be a good idea as a suggestion. It was just a, an idea. And as I was reading the screenplay, I thought it was a fantastic. That was the, uh, you feel it when it's written for someone, you know, and uh, 
he's the only actor we, we approach. I mean, uh, uh, I said, yeah, let's go for Ryan right away. He's, uh, I felt it was perfect for the part, and um, yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> it's quarter to three. I missed you, baby sweet. There's no one in the place. It was a day. Hmm? Except you and me. It was a day. Humanity cannot survive. Replicants are the future of the species. But I can only make so many. He's got every gun in the city. I've got you. We have to stop him. What do you want? I thought you might be able to help me with the case. He's constructing an army. Tell me what you remember. Everything. They know you're here. He's on your tail. I'm coming with you. What's the plan? We don't run. You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. 